fresh game. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Something <coughs> both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find <clears throat> something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found. All of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group. The same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars. As the enemy. We've One privileged white boy. <laughs> Even longer to believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything. To show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation. To the victor when the spoils. When the truth. We're trying to fix that. To free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do. And the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. Trump won in the USA election 2020. <laughs> Soon, though, soon we'll know that this date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. 2012. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. Wait, really, this man? Is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Let's say, could you honestly not hear that? Pretty loud. I'm gonna make your chats um, disappear after a while because I think it being on the screen permanently is kind of blurring the bloody vision here. There we go. So now your your, your the chats won't be on there permanently, but they'll pop up. A little more, please. Really, it's loud, Matt. Trust. I'm literally looking at the audio levels and I'm like, oh god, they're in like red, you know? They're like crazy. If this entire recording ends up being shit, it's because of you. <laughs> Making me turn everything up like crazy. Imperial ambush, did you? <laughs> Let's go. All right, here we go. The start of an AC three. Sensitivity's a bit shit, but we're gonna change that. Don't worry. Yeah, my little glow stick, by the way.
In another moment, close down <laughs> went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Your boy might actually get pizza. I'm not even gonna lie. I am starving. I can't even bother to cook anything. Oh god, I can't see anything. Oh, there we go. That was a bit weird. Not gonna lie to you. I think I lose the glow stick any second now. I bet it's this bit, isn't it? I literally, I know I, for a fact I lose it. I don't think you can... Oh. God damn, that was bright. They I move think the we're chair. here. There we go, so it's not like obstructing the screen itself. Yeah, I think I lose the glow stick, like literally, watch. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. There it is. You can't pick it back up, it feels bad. I can't remember the buttons now, you know. Okay, right trigger and A is jump. Right trigger itself is wrong. Interesting. Let me know if the volume is too loud or too low again, Matt, alright? Just keep keep me updated. You know when you see like a giant red button, you, you just don't want to press it? It's kind of like that in what you just did. Finding it hard to hear, but I'm clear as fuck. How? The key. You must find the key. Explain further, Matt. Sir. Here we go again. <laughs> oh my god, it's like the GTA face. Oh Did shit, here we go again. <laughs> Do you hear us? Yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into Is the that animus better, instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Oh, I always remember Desmond having like a monkey face in this one. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. Mm, there's something over there. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Hold on. Can I change stuff now? Well, we don't want it like that. Sensitivity, we want that up. Fuck it, we'll max it. We'll put that one up as well. Let's see what maximum sensitivity left and right does for us. Seems about right. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. Okay. Ha cha cha.
Easy. We're good. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. On it. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Okay. Beach. That's right. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Um. Okay, thank fuck for that. That was meant to happen. Was that meant to happen? Wait. Okay, why didn't he do that? Why did he? What the? F I mean, you saw that, right? He he just slid down there rather than jumping. I pressed the same exact button as I just did then. <laughs> that made no sense. <laughs> made it. Right, please jump this time and not slide. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what the hell? My guy just slid down rather than like jumping. He's like, no, no, no. You don't. You aren't holding that free run button. That clearly was. We synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Hey, Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Bam, 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 bam. I think I. Uh, I don't actually give any spoilers. I won't say anything. I love how the animus stuff does that. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Bam, 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 bam. Start mission. Invitation, please. Yeah, get, get the Shall I the take your coat, sir? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Sure. My apologies. Hey. Fake boy. <laughs> evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. <laughs> what? You've seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Oh, player interaction. Oh, a lot of G's. Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. Can you guess who that is, mate? What, what, um... You know, what famous assassination happened in the theatre, you know? Here's one for the history books. Let's see if you know which this is. Apologies. A thousand pounds. I'm so sorry. Get, sit the fuck back down. Oh my god, that's dark on the stream. Yeah, can you think of who it is, mate? Climb on the balcony. I'm gonna try and get 100% synchronization on this game. I know it's like literally impossible, because I hate playing by like certain rules you have to do, but. 
You don't see me. You don't. See oh God, what's going on in there? Climb your silly mean. Bam, ba bam, ba bam, bam, bam. Come on, Matt, I was expecting an answer, honestly. Oh, <gasps> pick lock. I gotta remember how to do this now. I mean, I imagine it'll tell me, but goddamn, it's been a little while. Rotate to find it. Right. Did I do it? I did do it, nice. First try. Not even not even a wince. <coughs> oh, Jesus. I've got a bit of stage fright. A little Dutch carriage up with a bloom in your cheek. I'm familiar with this, but can't tell you the name. Wait, really? It's Lincoln, right? It's like extremely famous, like for you know being dead in the theater kind of thing. I'm pretty sure it was Lincoln, right? And now you're making me question it now. I hope I was correct. I think it was like Lincoln, yeah, maybe? I don't know, we'll find out. I could be wrong, actually. <laughs> Hopefully I'm correct, though. <laughs> oh. Hey, Tham. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth. I'm sorry. As am I. Ooh. And this little kid just witnessed a murder. Look at those eyes. Moving on. This is where people start going fucking hectic. Somebody thinks I'm Anthony! Hurry! Calm, please! Over there! That's the one that did the murder! Oh, that man there! A man Seize was him. killed in the <laughs> other battle! Oh my! Out of nowhere! No RKO! Okay, oh. Any weapons? I beg your pardon. Did they find you? Push you push you the fucking way. Get me off that wall. Those eyes, though, yeah, I know. <laughs> Peace, friends, there is no danger. It happened right we must that leave at once. What are those men it's doing? I'm staying where it's safe. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Move. Peace, Move. friends, there is no danger. Hey. Imbecile. Right, now I know where the compass thing is, I can put where the chat back to go? normal. There we go. The chat should be okay there. Yeah, I'm getting shoved! I need to seen get that kid has seen some shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Another way! So many goddamn people. There we go. Nice. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key, 
And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. <clears throat> Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Gotta get that honor. <coughs> hey. <laughs> oh no, I think this is the game where you fucking you're like a little kid at the start as well and you have to play hide and seek and stuff. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. 